WA's $6 billion port and rail project near Geraldton has officially been killed off. The project would have created more than 2,000 jobs. Nine State political reporter Josh Yerger has more. It was a bad omen outside OPR's offices this morning. The vans weren't for them, but staff will need them soon. The company's declaring its $6 billion port and rail project dead in the water. There was an inevitable decision which had to be taken. It's a sign the boom is slowing down. With iron ore prices falling, the company says it's struggled to find anyone interested to help them build the project. Without another equity partner, Sitting alongside Mitsubishi, this is a very large project and too large just for, for one investor. It would have created 2,500 jobs during construction and more than 200 when it's up and running. With respect, you can't lose a potential job. The Premier himself cut 1,000 public sector jobs yesterday but says there's been plenty of job opportunities in the Midwest. There are 600 people today working on the Carrara Iron Ore project, which is part of the Okaji overall project. Those 600 jobs didn't exist a year ago. It was one of the Premier's pet projects and rejects the Okaji dream is over. He's just got back from Asia where he was drumming up support. And the Chinese accepted at face value uh, that the state government would lead on the port, they would lead on their mine and rail developments. Uh, Mitsubishi, and the chairman of Mitsubishi in Tokyo, agreed with that approach. Labor says this is all Colin Barnett's fault. When you're an old-style interventionist, you can often come a cropper, and that's what's happened with both Browse and Okaji. Haven't lost a project yet. Josh Yerger, Nine News.